You wanna do what? With Starfield? No, cut it! The game engine can't handle that! Ah, yes! Ah, my lackey! Come in, come in! No, I said cut that feature! That's ridiculous! No, I'm saving money, you idiot! Ah, thank you for coming! I wanna know the latest numbers! Ah, uh, how much money are we making on Fallout 76 and the first subscriptions? Yeah, it looks like the numbers have been pretty bad. Uh, we made $69,420.13. What? Oh, correction, seven cents. That's not enough money, are you serious? What is going on? Well, they're actually playing a new game. What could they possibly be playing instead of Fallout 76? Well, actually, they're playing uh, Outer Worlds by Obsidian. What? I thought we fired those idiots! We did, but they're making their own intellectual property. So there's nothing we can do, sir. That is goddamn ridiculous! I'll make sure they never work in this business again! Well, in fact, they're actually hiring. It's a pretty good salary, too. What? What's that? Roger. Executing Order 67. Order 67? What's that? Of sitting sense of regards. Wait! No! Order 67 executed. Heading to headquarters, Obsidian. Corporate Commander is dead! Y'all, welcome. As you can see, we're doing a sit-down review, which I guess we can call a rant review. Give this its own. Dell's got the rapid fires. I've got the angries, and now and we've I'm got... Here. And Joe's here. <laughs> <laughs> rant review, guys. Uh, the Outer Worlds. I'm so sorry that we didn't get to this one. I had family come in town. We had a bunch of games released at the same time. Yep. Modern Warfare, uh, Death Stranding, a bunch of other things. But mostly it was spending time with family. Hopefully you guys understand. Is This is, you know, it was weird because in October it wasn't really Broketober until like the end. And then November, Brand, no yeah. more money, November. It got <laughs> insane. So we're still trying to recover. And I thought, you know what? Just enough time. Uh, to just talk a little bit about the Outer Worlds, because I don't want to let this one pass us by. No, I feel like we need to give it some of its praise, because yeah. I, for one, had a great time playing this game. Yeah, yep. and I, I as well. <laughs> Obsidian did a fantastic job, and what a better... If, is there a better time for this thing to have come out? No. 16 times the detail. I was definitely saying something. I mean, Fallout 76 is over here slamming on its face. Just pointing and laughing. <laughs> <laughs> All of this just works. Wait, it's not, I'm not kidding. 
<laughs> right. And and trying to be relevant again with this Fallout First bullshit. And it's not working. Time to party! What? The hell? Ready! Fallout 76, you're still here? What? Yeah. I'm In my done. house? What's wrong with that? The party ended like a year ago! It seems we're like playing... yesterday. No, we're all playing a new game now, The Outer Worlds. It is fucking sweet. Look at how cool no, that man. is. Look, yeah. Fallout first, baby. Come on, just give me some money. What is Fallout first? I'm not even fucking move. What? Come on. It's only $100 for one year. A fucking $100? To play that piece of shit again? Hell no, man! What kind of idiot would spend that? Uh, this guy! He got two! Oh my god, go home, Fallout. You're drunk. You're drunk. No, man. you're Shh. drunk. Shh. I can tell you miss me. What? What's this? No, I, oh. I gave this to you, remember? I, I can't get I literally Shh. can't get it off my hand. Remember. Go home. We you're had drunk. some good times. No, that's it. Get you out. Some money, man. Get the fuck out of my some house. Money. We're through! We're through! It's embarrassing. Stop embarrassing yourself. And here comes new hotness, you know, Obsidian. It's like, look, let me show you how it's done. Okay. Yep. Yeah. It couldn't have been better timing. I mean, uh, Bethesda is losing its way while Obsidian is picking up the pieces. Whoa, 16 times the detail of Fallout 76. This is... This would be 16 times the detail of Fallout 76. Dirty. Yeah, the skyboxes in this game look great. I mean, look, you can even see a fucking uh, ship. Ships in the universe. Take it down. Take it down. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Joe. It, it really does wear, though, that first person Fallout uh, experience Big time. on its shoulders. Yeah. I mean, it is blatant about it i i don't i didn't see a whole lot of people talk about how it really does feel <laughs> i don't want to say it a little bit of a Everyone's rip off thinking it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh you know you've got the the pit boy is just now the the moon guy and you've got the ending of the game which is case it's not not any spoilers it's just you know static still outcomes the yeah. outcomes and that was like that that was fallout <laughs> yeah uh you know but that's just fallout so i wish they would have taken more risks that's what you could say about this one that I think, especially in a sci-fi, especially about sort of Firefly, Space Cowboys, it would have been nice to see something uh, unique added to it. But what you do got is you got really solid RPG gameplay. Uh, bloop. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! You go back! Run, go, run for your life! Strike two, strike three, get the fuck out! <laughs> and without all the nasty ass bugs that Fallout had. All of this just works. It's not, I'm not kidding. It, you know, I didn't run into any bugs. Uh, actually, no, there was like one. And, yeah. and Obsidian was actually they were in actually chat. There, yeah. <laughs> and they were like, oh, we'll get this one fixed right away. Yeah, and it's like, it's so, not on you, it's on us. Uh, it's like, okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, shit. Don't get paid bits. They're yeah. here. What? Oh. <laughs> what were you just saying? <laughs> and then you waited all that time just to say, bless you. <laughs> hey, man, we're really enjoying y'all's game. Mm hmm. What's the flickering with the fog, though? Is that just my yeah, graphics card? background. God, it's it's beautiful, man. I just 16 times the detail. <laughs> <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Said, yeah, that's us, not you. Mm. Okay. That was, uh, you know, when a game company is allowed to, you know, finish their game yeah. before they actually are forced to push it That's out like with what happened with new vegas <laughs> mm -hmm. they uh th this game had surprisingly little bugs and there were even articles it's running where, you know their last like new vegas was a mess but this game's great as far as technical stuff goes so. okay so what did you guys think about the story uh you, you both finished it yeah. yes okay what did you think 
I really like the story. Yeah, like I, like I said, I want to play it again because I felt bad at some of my choices. I was <laughs> I was playing kind of evil. I was like, nice. oh man, I feel so bad. I want to do it again. You can't just I always shake say away. I'm a, I always say I'm gonna play evil and I never oh, play I evil. No, it's my conscience, yeah. man. It won't let me be evil. Right. You could stab your way out of any situation. Did right? you go yeah. Lord Two Shanks in your playthrough? <laughs> Here's one of the things I tried, but the stealth thing is kind of weak. Yeah. In yeah. my opinion, because like I was. I was doing everything right. I increased okay. my stealth and my melee. Yeah. So I was creeping up by this guy. I hit him. Everyone gets alarmed. Yeah, yeah. The AI is like, okay. well, how did you even so see that? a little that? weak there, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, that happened a little really? bit in, in Fallout 2. But I, I see what you're saying. I mainly focused on assault rifles. And, mm. and if, let me actually critique that a little bit. I felt like there, there could have been a little bit more weapon variety mm. in the game. Uh, the weapons that were there were cool, especially some of those scientific yeah. weapons. Like the shrink ray. Where you're shrinking people down yeah. and stuff like that. I mean, I wish you would have been able to shrink, 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 shrink. The goop into, gun. Into Did nothing. you get the gloop gun? No. Yeah. The yeah. gloop gun just lifting yeah. everybody up <laughs> yeah. in the air. Yeah. yeah. Um, so lots of experimental weapons like yep. that. And it's cool that you get these side quests to go and grab those. Um, and uh, but what what did you feel about the game, Del? I thought it was nice, especially considering you know they they said straight out they didn't have the budget of like a lot of the other games they oh, worked yeah? on, which is why this game was kind of like a test okay. run. And if they if they if people received it positively, mm -hmm. they would add DLC and further the universe because they were did like feel yeah. like there's something missing. It needs yeah. something more. It needs yeah. more stuff. It needed but something, and that's what I was talking about taking risks. And I guess that's because it is a double A, not a triple A. Yep. But it does compete with the triple A's, and I think that's why it was on everybody's good side. Little kid, a booty here, <laughs> 50. Look at that detail in the booty. <laughs> that detail. In the that's booty. some detailed booty. Uh, yeah. Uh, what about the companions? Did you guys like? I hate the fact that there's no relationship option. I know Bioware <laughs> has basically ruined us yeah. all, and I yeah. want a relationship option. They did kind of tease that there's relationships between other, other people, characters, other characters. Yeah. I won't spoil it, but that shit ain't you to no. them. That's no, you know, but, oh, lonely oh. man. <laughs> Before for one of the best things of the story, mm -hmm. and I think I had a completely different playthrough than both of you guys, is I played a stupid character. Yeah. So you remember in Fallout 2, oh, there were yeah. dumb options in like wondering. Fallout 3 and stuff? Mm -hmm. So I made my character as dumb as a brick, and it even said extremely dumb when I was yeah. making him, but I maxed <laughs> his charisma out. Yeah. And so every situation, they even had interactions for dumb charisma, where you know you would just... Everything you said was stupid, and there was one of the a lot of the NPCs had uh, dialogue responses to it. And the old woman on the station, you know, the cartel leader or whatever, yeah. you go there and you say something to her, and she just realizes this and she goes, "Aren't you sweet?" <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to show you some clips of that. I want to see a clip uh, of that. So many dumb actions were great. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreakers' comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Oh no, a ghost message! <laughs> Aren't you precious? No, the young man on the video was flesh and blood, all right. Could be it was automated. But I love that they they added like a whole extra set of dialogue in almost every conversation for just being. Stupid. There is actually a secret ending, and you can get a secret ending if you're stupid as hell. Yeah, I did. You're it. like plotting a course, and I'm not gonna say anything more yep. than that. But it is it's funny, <laughs> and and this game has charm. That's what the dialogue. Yes. Yeah. Oh, worse, unemployed cannibals. <laughs> you ever seen a marauder hold down a job or put a stake oh, no. in society? <laughs> All of the road. I like that though. Look, so he's a cannibal. Ain't a worker. Even well, worse. You he's unemployed. <laughs> Wait, that's worse. <laughs> you like the writing. <laughs> yes. I do what I want. I like the writing too. I do what I want. Got a knack for being dis mm -hmm. The I mean the conversations, yes, everybody kind of just stands there and you know it moves like this and then but it's it's almost on purpose and they kind of stylize it where it zooms in and almost like a spotlight on them and they're talking 
Uh, and you would think that that would get boring, and it should get boring. But no, the dialogue is written really, really nicely. Yep. That, that's one of this game's strengths. Uh, whereas the animations might not be, you know, uh, up to the levels we've seen in other games. Uh, but it is, it's cool. Um, and I just loved exploring the world. Uh, I, I thought it might have been, uh, you know, I didn't expect too many planets. You know, I wasn't over here thinking that this is like... Y you know, No Man's Sky or even a Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, but I, I did appreciate the different locations that you can go to. And, of course, it's got a storyline that I am inclined to like. You can either side with the corporate idiots or you can fight <laughs> yeah. against corporate. And, you know, yep. that's – and and I got so many tweets – you know, that, uh, Joe, you could kill Corporate Commander, and there's so many dead Corporate Commanders. Oh, my God, is this him? Is this him? Ah, <laughs> we found him. Corporate Commander is so cool, man. Ah, he's dead. He's finally dead. <laughs> the Outer Worlds killed him. That's perfect. Honestly, that's perfect. Yep. So I think we should put together a little montage of all the dead corporate commanders <laughs> in the game. Enjoy. so far like when i first saw it, I was like, oh my god they were they're fans of the show people were going ahead of me and then when i encountered it, i was like oh no they're just you know it's corporate so it's corporate yeah. soldier corporate commander obviously they're gonna have commanders and i was like oh they probably have no idea maybe, about the angry like a little joe wink? show maybe 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 <laughs> i don't know uh he does have kind of a helmet and there is a side quest that you could yeah. go on where he's talking to you over the intercom um what about the, the side characters? Uh, did you guys feel the side characters were cool? Were they interesting, like Mass Effect? I liked for, them. For me, it kind of felt kind of flat. They seemed pretty generic, yeah. run-of-the-mill. I'm actually on your side, more, Joe. Yeah. I, I felt like almost all of the side characters were... Not, not much Their was dialogue was great, yeah. Yeah. but I didn't really like, oh, I fucking love that. Yeah, oh, yeah. exactly. Shit. They had this robot. They needed and Chad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What need. <laughs> oh, what are you talking about, Borderlands? Yeah. <laughs> no, but I, I, there's this robot, you know, and I was like, oh, man, this one's going to be really, really cool. And he's, he's, he's all right. He's, he's like but a cleaning I, robot. I didn't yeah. think he was as cool as he could have been, mm -hmm. honestly. Um, but it is very, very fun taking the companions along with you, seeing their dialogue options. They have unique things, and it makes you want to replay the game. Yeah. And, and I enjoyed my time. I immediately wanted to replay it, and I did a little bit of that, but then there were so many games coming out that I felt overwhelmed, and that's why this review didn't come out, and then I started on another game, and then reviews came out. I'm yeah. like, we didn't get a review coming. And then another one, out. and then... <sighs> it's too much. So, I, thought, I thought the companions were well done. But I agree with you in the sense that, like, they didn't have any, like, super memorable things. Mm -hmm. But I actually cared about their stories. Yeah. Which was, like, nice. Because most of the time I'm just like, skip. Yeah. Skip. Just stop talking. Skip. 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 <laughs> skip. 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 <laughs> now, here's another thing uh, uh, that I didn't really expect. Uh well, I didn't know what to expect, but, you know, because it's sci-fi. I love all types of sci-fi. So I was predisposed to like it. But by the end, I don't know. I guess it's maybe not my genre of sci-fi. At least what I'm talking about is, like, armor design, ship designs, the way the weapons look, the way the buildings look, that kind of stuff. It, it was like a cross between a Fallout and a 60s nostalgia mm -hmm. yep. kind of poppy sci-fi. And that's not really my bag. Uh, so, you know, I, I kept looking for more badass armor and cool-looking armor. And 
I mean, there was armor that looked all right, but like not like. Wasn't what you wanted. Where I was like, yes, you know, not like Mass Effect armor, but it was like it was like well, even some Mass Effect armor kind of sucked. It wasn't, you know. People talk shit about Kingdoms of Armalore or that mm, game, but Amalur, like a- yeah. Amalar or whatever it was. With the beasts of the wood and the evil of wicked hearts. I fear for Brother Egan's soul. He is like a baby, eyes wide at the world around him. It was a disaster, but they started you off looking cool you look and you cool. kept yeah. looking cool. I want to look like a badass. And in this game, the armor sets are fucking awesome. So I just felt like there wasn't uh, enough there. But what about, uh, you know, progression and, uh, you know, abilities and unlocking tree and thing like I, and those kinds of things? It, was it seemed good. a little bare. It was it bare, was. but it was good. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it was in the sense of, like, it was enough to keep me interested in leveling up. I think the worst part of it was probably the talent choices, mm -hmm. where it was, like, pick between, like, 15% more armor, 10% more health. It, I didn't rows. like it. I'm I didn't like be the honest talents with you. That. I didn't yeah. like it as much as other RPGs. It felt weird that all of the talents were like tied to each other at first and you were like leveling up things you didn't really want to level, but mm -hmm. then later on you unlock the ability to just go into one path and yeah. get better at one thing. Uh, and I don't know about you, but I always had points left over. I would kind of hoard them, and then, up oh, something would happen, and I would see I would yep. need 80, or I would need 60, and I would dump it in there. And then I just dumped it all in hacking. Hacking? Is yeah. that what you did? Yeah. So, I don't know. The progression was a little off. And, and like I said, a lot of these little things, I think just because it looks so much and feels so much like a Fallout, you want to compare it in all aspects to it. It's uh, kind of hard not to, yeah. And, and it's hard not to. They kind of invite those uh, uh, comparisons, especially when they, they took certain uh, liberties of kind of copying things in, in certain aspects. Um, but they did it well. And in my opinion, they did it better than Bethesda, yep. uh, at, at least recently. And while oh, I yeah. may not have uh, been super <laughs> into the world and, and there were sort of – is that X factor was missing. I still really enjoyed my time with it. I still wanted to replay it. And I think it's a solid ass game. I, I enjoyed it more than I did fallout four. Yeah. Um, and that's, did you, yeah, yeah, that's safe to say for me, this, you know, you have the slow down thing, which mm -hmm. basically rips off of, uh, Max, Max Payne did the bullet, you know, too, but yeah. yes, but it's VAT, dude. <laughs> it's, you know, Oh, you have summoning sickness from being woken up. You and somehow that's your can power? control time. Really? Yeah. Okay. So can I change my power to something else? You guys couldn't <laughs> come up with something different right there, but okay, fine. She's young, but looks old. Right. I was just thinking that. <laughs> Whatever your troubles with Edgewater. It's a man, baby. They, they, don't, <laughs> yeah. they don't do old characters very well, I guess. Can't just throw a few wrinkles Back on a young face. <laughs> you ain't fooling anyone. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't fooling anyone. <laughs> now, why did you have to go so lazy, Obsidian, on the lockpick? Like, I was, I was, I'm interested in lockpicking. It's seriously press and hold. I gotta be doing something wrong. I, Give give me the mini game for real. Stop, stop playing. But that never really takes away from the enjoyable adventure, the <laughs> good writing, the good dialogue. And honestly, we should have filmed this review much much sooner. It's just I was too busy and on top of things. So why don't we go ahead and go with some final verdicts? Okay, for me this is a solid eight. I want to play this again. Um, I wanted some more customization, it's especially with some of the weapons. Yeah. Like, there's not really, there's some mods you could do, but mm -hmm. like we said, it, it was bare bone and stuff like that. Uh, the characters I liked, but no standouts. Mm -hmm. Story was still good and very compelling. So yeah. eight for me. Okay. Great game. I'm, I'm right there with him. It's an eight for what me. What about creatures and bosses? I, we, that's something we forgot to talk oh, about. Yeah, I hated those prey mantis. Like, what is it? <laughs> mantis queens? Or the mantis yeah. or the, the, the queens. I don't know what you're yeah. talking about. Yeah. Um, I thought the creature design was fine. Mm -hmm. I thought there was enough variety on every planet that I never got bored of killing them. Mm -hmm. And there were, like, boss versions of every creature, and they were just kind of, like, hidden around the map. Mm -hmm. And there were, like, you know, custom guns and stuff that they were guarding. So yeah. it never felt, like, over done yeah it, once i stuck with the gun i was like all right this is gonna be suffice so i that's, stuck with it the yeah. whole game yeah. and, and that, that kind of took away from it i wish you could control your your ship on the map but again i'm trying to make it a game it's not the mass yep. effect game but it was good for what it is anyway sorry for interrupting um so like i said eight out of ten uh it's it's got a great story it's got a great foundation for a universe 
And, I mean, I, other than that, like, the talent system, I, I liked the individual skill points where, yeah. like, upping the 80, like 90, the summer, I just did not like the talents where it was, like, 10% more health, et cetera. Mm. And I just feel like it's got a great foundation. It just could have been a lot better if they went more in depth mm -hmm. to everything that was going on. Yeah, and, and, you know, another thing, I wish you could loot everything that you physically see, you know. Uh, whatever that person has, you can then have instead of just kind of spamming everything and picking everything up and not really getting what you see. Uh, and I also would love a, a better kill cam. Those kill cams in the old fallouts were so fun as people were exploding. I, I could just see, you know, that happening here. But the kill cam doesn't seem very consistent. Uh, but, no, overall, I am going to issue Outer Worlds a 8 out of 10. Uh, I think it's it's really, really solid. I, I mean, I can give it a badass seal of approval because you can play this over and over. Oh, we forgot to talk about you could complete the game in like 12 minutes. Yes. Yeah. I have not done that. If but you just go I was, straight for the uh, you, main quest. You, I was like, oh, my God, there's a video out there. I think IGN did it where you could just – I'm like, what the hell? You know, why would you do that? I, I was doing all the side quests, so I didn't realize how short you could blow through the game. And I was like, well, fuck, we could have had this reviewed a lot sooner. But no, <laughs> I like – I like to make sure that we it's, it's a trend with their games because like Fallout 2 is a great example the thing the, the geck I think the thing you need oh, to right. fix you, you could, could walk go straight outside to the, the well, military no, base or whatever you could is. loot it on the first thing Oh, okay. If you had your luck high enough, you could literally just go outside, loot it, get the gek, yeah. and then just be done with the game like yeah. that. But what I appreciated <laughs> is you could do things that I didn't think they'd let you do. Like, you know, this guy revives you from your, your cryo sleep, and you can fucking turn his ass in or, or you know, tattle on him and, and yep. take positions. And I was like, okay, so there are kind of branching paths in dialogue. Now, that's what I love. Hey, I need your key. Killed who? Mr. Thompson. I wanted to know what was in that room, all right? Fuck. I love that too, but in I want to see it pay off. And you do see it pay off because you get the, you know, your room and you can see, oh, I took that choice and I take that choice. And then people in other uh, planets will talk about, yep. they'll either give you an option to go back and, and do that thing or, oh, you did that thing. So, you know, I'm trying to be vague uh, for spoilers. But basically, you know, I appreciated all that. But then at the end, it's just still images. I'm like, no, I, yep. I need more. I need a video. I need, I don't know, something like that. Um, so I don't know what's next for the Outer Worlds, but I liked it. Seven out of ten. I do think it needs some more innovation. It seen everybody was on board. I think people that gave it nines and tens might have been a little too generous, yeah. a little too rosy. After everything else so, has so been going on, at 76 so yeah. pissed at seventy six. They're like, yeah. they're like you gave it, a, and like I said, this thing came out at the absolute yep. perfect time. It was like marketing genius uh, that it came out. And um, so I'm just hoping that they do another one. Uh, DC and DLCs go a like you were talking about. More, yeah. get, put more innovation. I think there might be DLC. Maybe we could see what happened to Earth. Yeah. Maybe we can, you know, obviously continue this the story in the sector. I don't know, uh, you know, because it went dark or whatnot. Well, uh, anyways. Uh, I so. know they're capable of it because they've made really, really fantastic RPGs. And mm -hmm. I think they this was just a test the waters thing. And they wanted to see if people were interested in the universe. And, well, they, they stayed yeah. safe because see they have explored other people's worlds and RPGs and made mm -hmm. games within that. And they kind of did that here only with its own yep. IP. Now you have your own IP, your own world, and your own mechanics. Add to it. Innovate. Yep. And, and we'll, be, we'll yeah. be on board and stuff, which they did, but we would like to see more. All right, guys. So that's our quick review of The Outer Worlds. Uh, sorry it took us so long, but I definitely want to put this out there uh, to give credit where credit's due to yep. Obsidian. And I, I want to encourage them to do more stuff like this, which I don't know if they will, man. I mean, didn't they get bought up by, by Xbox? And is in this going to is it going to be like Outer Worlds 2 Xbox exclusive? Uh, I guess it doesn't matter because I got a computer and, you know, it's Xbox anywhere. Right. Yeah. So that just worries me now. I forgot about that. Worry. Yeah. Now I'm just we'll like, see. oh, no.
<laughs> I, I ruined the mood. <laughs> Way to go. You All right, day. corporate commander is coming back. He just cannot die. He cannot be killed. Outer Worlds 2, only available in <laughs> xCloud. <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll see. I don't think so, guys. Uh, hopefully not. I think they get it, and, and they're, they're on board, but we'll see. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next Angry Joe show. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>